Hi right, everybody, Hell Corrects here. Just doing an update on the, what's on the painting table today. I've been working on these uh, Federated States of America. There's that Naval Battle Group box I've been working on. As you can see, they're sitting right in front of me right here. They, uh, yeah, they got a little bit of work done on them. I had been planning on working on the uh, British Dragoons right here, the 16th Dragoons, but uh, my uh, dystopian war stuff is winning out in the wanting to get <laughs> painted type stuff. Uh, if you've been over around uh, the Musty Wargamers page, you've seen this guy. My carrier, this is a San Francisco carrier that I finished a little while ago. I got that one. All done, and we're with all the extras that go in it, so little bits and stuff. So, pull that off, and I can change out what I want for equipment. Pretty simple. So, I got that one that's finished up, and then we got three George Crown or George Georgetown. Yeah, that's it. Uh, heavy cruisers that are basically almost finished i have to do all these are at the point of i have to clean up all the the gray areas because i got some spillage over you know some of the washes and stuff when i was doing all the decking and putting the wash on some of it spills over onto the gray so i gotta clean all that up and then we have what's next is the it's the battle cruiser we got back here. We got the Liberty Heavy Battleship San Francisco, Annapolis Battle uh, Cruiser, and Georgetown Cruisers, Augustus Frigates, uh, Revere class Corvettes. We got all that. So these are the Georgetowns. And we got the battle cruiser. I still got to work on the stars and do and you see areas where you know the when I was putting the uh, browns on for the deck and you can see it's kind of washed off a little bit off the sides and when you're putting the using the wash on it it tends a tendency sometimes to get a little rambunctious so then we got the little frigates a little bit more work to do on those guys. These are pretty much all I got to do is clean them up now. Around the turret areas and the decks. And then the Revere class Corvettes. Got to work on those. Same thing, just clean up. Do a little bit of clean up on those and they're done. So That'll give me, I think, 32... Of these little buggers I got more than enough they multiply like rabbits same with these guys lots and lots of them and then we got the heavy Liberty heavy battleship I'll do that so the same thing just clean up and then work on the stars right there make them white White stars for the white flag, red, white, and blue. So, same thing with those. I will work on the, the whites of the, the stars. I had thought about uh, doing a. I've got a little brown right there somehow. Um, making this look like the White House right here. You know, paint that all white so it looks like the White House on it, but. That seems like a lot of work. I've done it before and some of the other ones I've done in the past. It is a pain to get that done correctly. It looks nice when you do it, but I don't know if I want to put that much time into them. You know, it's like I'm doing stuff for clients and stuff like that, and I put a lot of work into it and make sure they get what they want, get their money's worth. But for myself, sometimes I just get lazy. And get them ready enough for the the, uh, the table. And it'll be similar to that. There we go. So 
or else this. I think it looks better that the other direction. Looks like the other ones I've done in my fleet. I think I got four of these now. Three or four. Taking battle cruisers into the game. And I got my submarines, the Boston submarines. With these guys. Uh, you'll be seeing these in a upcoming video. Where we talk about the Boston class submarine. And both this is the water. This is supposed to represent when it's underwater. And this one what it represents when it's above on the surface. So got those. And there's another heavy battleship. I got to do the stars on these guys. Somehow when I painted these guys, it's like I forgot completely about doing the stars. I don't know why. I was in a hurry to get them on the table, I think, to play. Yeah. So this is something. These guys are done. I just need, looked at it as a few things I wanted to touch up on them. Get them ready for the table. And the weather has been so humid. I haven't been able to prime these guys, but I got a ton of small air tokens already, so I don't need more so it's not a priority to get these done by any means so because it's when it's humid out you can't prime unless you leave your stuff in the sun for about an hour to acclimate or else you just get bubbling and all that because the condensation just screws up the paint and we go over here you know, this is the American War of Independence game I've been having problems with, I've redone this, I've gone through like five turns already. And I've did five turns and after putting up to upload all my videos, the, uh, my phone, which I'm using because I got this little setup right here, which holds my phone, so it's like hanging over top the, the map. Uh... It keeps trying to go set the, the video like this when I want it to go like that. So it's like I could upload them. So you'd be looking at a very narrow up and down type thing where it's 90 degrees off axis. Doesn't work for me. So I did all those turns and then I uploaded it and I was like started making the videos and I realized what the heck's happened. And I realized that when I have my phone in. And it's in the, the holder, and I hit play. It sets it automatically. It goes like that. So it thinks I'm holding the phone vertical instead of horizontal. I don't understand it. So i got to figure out how to make that work. But I'm playing through the game again. Fun, fun, fun. So i got to restart the entire game after playing five turns. Yay. Not fun. But that's the uh, full extent of what's going on here in Command Booker. Hope you guys enjoy your 4th of July weekend. All right. We'll talk with you all later. Hope Greg's out.